Hey guys, it's your own boy, the one only great Dane, back with a 477 star drop opening. And I already completed the additional challenges to get two more star drops, so we should have eight. And let's see what we have. Super rare. Brandon. Super rare of 200 XP doubles. Super rare. Another super rare. 50 power points. Rare. Another rare. 25 power points. Super rare. Yeah, super rare, 50 power points. Super rare. Super rare, 200 XP doubles. Super rare. Super rare, 100 coins. Rare. Rare, 50 coins. Rare. And a rare, 50 coins. At least it wasn't all power points, I suppose. I got the Colette Mastery Pin here. I was playing her quite a bit for Volley Brawl. Again, it's just nice to play some different modes after quite a while. Again, I was intrigued to learn that you can actually aim where the Volley Ball is going based on where you're standing underneath it. Again, I before I saw that post, I believe it was on Nubs's channel one of his videos looking over reddit posts apparently it's not random and you can aim the ball strategically which i thought was rather interesting but anyway of course i we have zombie plunder maze creep and volley brawl tiger leap they both rhyme for some reason i don't I'm not really sure if this is the last day that these two modes are going to be out or not. I mean, it's the last day for the challenge, at the very least. Uh, so again, I guess I'd just play as much as you can. If you have fun with these modes, they'll probably be back next Halloween. Or be back even sooner if they just theme it to something else, depending on how much people enjoyed playing. But we also have Knockout 5v5, Shuffle City... And if we hop over to the shop here, we have the Juju Value Pack available in the shop here. Okay, well, it doesn't look like you have to wait the week in order to get all of the rewards. It looks like you just spend the amount and then get it all up front I think I'm not exactly sure it looks like you just get it all immediately I mean having to wait for something you purchased is kind of weird anyway but again I'm interested to know what you guys think it comes with some coins some gems and some more coins no power points interestingly enough but I think we all have enough power points at this point anyway doll maker soul taker and it comes with the skin, which again I'm guessing is a uncommon skin, probably worth 30 gems. So if you can't spend like $17 on this offer, I wouldn't worry too much about it. You can just get it after the next season drops in roughly a week. Again, I'm going to hold on to my dead boxes, the two additional free ones, until tomorrow for Halloween, as we should be getting our... 10 free dead boxes. We still have Headless Rider Stew, Putrid Pam, it was just brought in yesterday. We have Van Primo, Hoodoo Chili, Frank and Grum, Kaboka Fang, again, I hope I'm saying that right, Swamp Jean. So it's still a pretty loaded shop right now, and again, pretty much all the skins here are Halloween exclusives, so. I'd pick them up if you can, but otherwise, there's no reason you can't just wait till next Halloween, I suppose. But, I have a daily freebie of 60 XP doublers and 15 coins. And there's a coin value offer, but I don't care much for those. So again, as long as you guys completed the last of your additional mode challenges here for the extra startups there's not too much else going on today besides just having juju in the game now so you might start seeing that in matches if people are buying the pack a week early 
but as of today, I have 524 XP doublers and 99,596 power points. So again, let me know what you guys think of the Juju Value Pack and if you plan on purchasing it at any time really. But other than that, let's see how far I can take this, guys.